Hi, welcome to another episode of Mr. Marty. Well, today I'm talking about something I'm really excited about, and um, I'm grateful to Allison up in um, Salt Lake to tell me about this uh, awesome lady and her blog. Her name is Janet Lansbury. Let me uh, show this to you right here. And uh, that's her name. I've circled in uh, Mr. Marty's pink pen. But uh, Janet Lansbury has a blog called Elevating uh, Child Care. And it's all, she also has a, a Facebook page. So she has a blog and a Facebook page. And you can go on there and look at her blog and, and her Facebook page, uh, Elevating Child Care. And, and where she's coming from is um, she, she's, she, she's trying to get people to look at child care, at, at, at look at uh, you know, caring for babies, teaching babies, uh, parenting, um, infant teaching. She, she's trying to get um, caregivers and teachers to, 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 to look at uh, babies a little bit differently and to look at how they approach babies a little bit differently. And she, she urges what is, is called a respectful caregiving, re re respectful teaching in which, in which you take the, the feelings and considerations of the infant into consideration as you are teaching them as you're caring for them and and i went on her blog and her her blog is just awesome i mean really folks i mean that's why i want to use this technology and and my facebook page and my youtube channel to to talk about the positive things that are going on um in our community in the society and this is one of them this is one of them um janet lansbury's blog elevating child care and her facebook page um you 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 definitely gotta check this out but so what she so, so what she asked us to do is to basically you know look at it from the baby's point of view and so one of the things that, that she talks about, and that's what I want to talk about here, and it's just so important, is um, imagine that you're a baby. And this is, this is difficult for a lot of people, you know, in trying to, you know, put yourself in that, that mindset. But, but imagine for a moment you're a baby. Say you're, you're nine months old, and you're in an infant room, and you're with the other babies, and your teachers are there, and you're playing. You're, you're just having a wonderful time, and you're putting these little um, red things into these little uh, blue things, and it's it's fascinating. You're nine months old, and, and this is like the most fascinating thing to you. And then, you know, you, you start having a runny nose. Your, your nose starts running, and you, you have all this, like, snot coming out your nose and you're not aware of this because you're nine months old you're you're not you're not cognizant or if you are you really can't do anything about the runny nose the the nose that's running and then to top that off uh you've pooped your pants you you've you've filled your diaper and um and again, you might, at nine months old, you might have an awareness that your nose is runny and your bottom is poopy. You, you, you might have an awareness of that, but you can't really, you can't really do anything about that. And, um, and you're playing and you're just like putting this little red thing into this little blue thing and you're just, you're, you're really having a good time playing. And then all of a sudden, again, you're not aware of the runny nose or the, or the poopy bottom, but your teacher is. Your infant teacher is. She can see your nose is running. She can smell the poopy bottom. And so um, your teacher comes out and, and you, you have no idea what's going on. And all of a sudden there's this, this cloth, this rag, you know, that, that Kleenex or whatever. It comes out and just, you know, starts, starts wiping your nose. And you're like, hey, what's going on here? I'm, I'm playing with this. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm putting this little red thing into this little blue thing. What, what are you doing? And there's no discussion. Your, t your teacher isn't discussing it, or a parent or, or whatever, a caregiver. They're not discussing this with you. They're just, they're just wiping the runny nose. And, and then to make that even, even stranger for you, you're kind of disconcerted because you were involved in this play, in this putting the little red thing in the, the little blue thing. And on top of that, you know, the, your, your, your teacher's like, you know, pulling up your shirt and pulling out the back of your pants. And there's no discussion of this. You know, she sees that your, your bottom is indeed poopy. Her nose was correct. And she takes you to the changing table. And so in a matter of a few seconds, where you're this nine-month-old on the floor, having a great time, in, engrossed in this, this play, 
you know, your te- in a matter of seconds, you, you find that your, your nose has been wiped and you don't really understand what's going on. And then you, you find yourself on a changing table uh, getting your, your bottom uh, wiped and, and your diaper changed. And you don't, know, you don't know any of this is going on. And Janet Lansbury says, let's look at this from a different perspective. Let's look at this from the baby's perspective. Let's, 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 take, their, let's take their feelings into consideration and let's let's respect them as what they are little human beings with thoughts and feelings of their own they're not complex thoughts you know and they're 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 feelings that are appropriate for for that that age you know but we're respecting that and and so so here's another scenario the the, the, the same exact scenario but a different approach to the caregiving, you're the nine month old and you're sitting there playing, you have the runny nose and the, and the poopy bottom, but your caregiver comes up and instead of just, you know, wipe, wiping your nose with the cloth, your caregiver, you know, shows you the cloth and says, Hey, I noticed you have a runny nose. My goodness. Uh, uh, Noah, you know, or Brittany or, you know, whatever the baby's name, you know, Oh, here, let me wipe your nose. Your nose is runny. I see your nose is running. And so the baby knows that, Okay, the cloth is there. The baby kind of has a heads up that this is what's going on. And my teacher is wiping my nose and my teacher is explaining, you know, that I have a, a runny nose. You know, and the teacher says, oh, my goodness, uh, 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 Brittany, no, I, I, I smell something. I think, I think maybe you need a changing. And the, the teacher, you know, pulls back the diaper, confirms that the diaper's been pooped and says, hey, uh, you know, I, I think we need to change your pants. So let's, let's, let's go to the changing table and change your pants. And... And so the infant knows what's going on. The infant's being taught, you know, about runny noses and about poopy bottoms. And the, the infant's kind of making, like, connections there. And, and, and most importantly, the infant isn't startled. The infant isn't, um, you know, shocked. And, and, and the infant is told what's, what's happening in their, in their care, what's, what's, what's happening with them at that, in that moment. So it's respecting their feelings it's it's you know respecting them and they're involved in play and yes they have a runny nose and yes they have a poopy bottom and the nose needs to be wiped and the diaper needs to be changed but they're involved in play and you need to explain you know hey we need to to stop playing for a moment we need to interrupt the play because the nose needs to be wiped and the diaper needs to be changed and so we need to we need to do that and it's and it's communicating you know, with that infant and respecting them as as a person, as a as a human being, and and I love this. I I love this approach. And and here's something else I love about about Janet Lansbury and her blog, Elevating um, Childcare, is it's she's not some you know fiery brimstone fire and brimstone uh, preacher up there trying to make you feel guilty that you know maybe you haven't been as respectful as as you should be as a as an infant teacher a caregiver a parent she doesn't you know she doesn't make you feel guilty you know she recognizes that hey we've all been doing this probably wrong we we all could learn respectful uh caregiving techniques and so it's her blog and and her um all the things that she writes about She's not accusatory. She she's not trying to put you on a guilt trip or say, "Well, that's that's bad and I have the I have the correct answer." It's hey, how can we think about this from a different perspective? How can we think about this from the baby's perspective? Um is there a better way to do that? And that's what's that's what's great about teaching and and that's why, you know, I really envision, you know, the infant room and and the daycare as a teaching community. That's, that's, this is how I feel, folks. I think that we can learn from the babies. The babies can learn from us. Um, directors can learn from teachers. Teachers can learn from directors. Teachers can learn from teachers. We're all in this learning community, and we all matter, and we all count. And um, and how do we do this better? And that's what Janet Lansbury is trying to say with this blog and with her Facebook page, Elevating Child Care. She, she's trying to say... Is there, a, is there a better way that we can teach these babies? Is there a better way than, that we can bring this care? And yeah, obviously you have to care. I mean, you have an infant room of, of uh, you know, 10 babies 
and you've got, say, you know, three teachers, and they're running around with these three babies, and they need to be fed, they need to be changed, they need naps, and, and they, they need exercise time, they, they, they need tummy time, they need all these things. And as we're going about caring for them, you know, sometimes we lose sight of the fact that that they're that they're little human beings with thoughts and feelings and that need to be that need to be respected. And, you know, and there's an extreme, obviously, I know um, some and, and, you know, please, I'm not I'm not saying that this is wrong. But, you know, some programs or, or whatnot kind of go towards the, you know, let's spend 30 minutes talking about um, the baby having a runny nose or a poopy bottom and, you know, and needing to change. Well, you know, in an infant room with, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten babies, even if you have two or three teachers, I mean, it's, you know, it's it's bang, 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 bang. You, you it's, it's constant activity and you don't always have that time, you know, to spend 30 minutes talking about a diaper change or talking about a runny nose or talking about why you have to interrupt the play. You have to balance all of that. But but I think that even with a, you know a, a large infant room that you can still have respectful caregiving. You can you know and and we should all strive for that. It's a process, you know. Like when I put on my resume and I started applying for jobs at uh, at these infant rooms, and and I was saying, listen, you know, I don't want to just be an infant teacher. I want to be the best infant teacher. It's not a plateau that you reach. You know, it's a process, you know, going back to we're in this learning community and we're in this process of of bettering ourselves and bettering the care that we give infants and toddlers. And and I think that this blog she has is an awesome way to do that. Maybe we always maybe we always haven't been giving respectful uh, infant and toddler care, but we need to. It's, we need to start learning to do that, and we and we need to do that, and and we need to we need to be better and find better ways of teaching these babies of of instilling you know this sense of uh, empathy and, and which I'll get to in another video about how you teach empathy into to babies. I want to talk about that in another video, but you know and and um, and and how can we do this better? And that's what it's all about. It's not about, you know, making someone feel bad because they weren't practicing r respectful caregiving. And But it's about how we can do this better, how we can do this better. And I'm excited about it. Thank you so much, Allison, for telling me about, um, uh, about Janet Lansbury. And again, just, you know, one more time, you can, you can go back and rewind the video and watch it again. But Janet Lansbury... Respect, respecting, that's, that's what we're, we're talking about here. Respecting the babies um, and respecting their thoughts and feelings. And um, I'm excited about this. I think it's awesome. And I just wanted to share that with you. Another positive thing that's happening right here in our world, in our community. You're not going to hear about Janet Lansbury and her blog, Elevating Child Care. You're not going to hear this on the evening news. Excuse me. You're not going to hear this you know, uh, you know, on CNN, but it's positive. It's, 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 she's a positive force for change in our world. And I, I, I love the blog. I, I love what she says. And I invite you to go on her blog, go on her Facebook page and see what Janet Lansbury has to say about elevating childcare. Uh, again, another, another, uh, episode of, uh, Mr. Marty. And maybe I'll bring Mr. Snuggles in uh, next time for a little, little bit of a uh, humorous thing. Last video I did was, uh, the magical fruit. You can go back and watch that. That's got a little, little, little bit of a uh, little bit of funny there. Um, but anyways, uh, listen, have a great day, folks. Has an, have an awesome day and, and be the positive change that you want to see in other people, that you want to see in your world. Be that positive change. Um, and just another episode of Mr. Marty. Thanks. You guys have an awesome day.